Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'll explore the Paris well with and product recommendation settings. So first of all, we need to go to our theme customizer. And then let's go to the products default product. We need to find the Paris well with section. So here it is, we have the Paris well with and as we can see, it says that to select complementary products, add the search and discovery app. So here we'll, once we have the complementary products uh, near the actual product, we'll have the Paris well with section. Or you can rename this heading, as you can see here, it says Paris well with, but you can rename it to whatever you prefer. So now let's go to our search and discovery app. So let's go back to our Shopify admin panel. We go to apps, search and discovery. So here in the search and discovery, we have filters, search, recommendation settings, but we need the recommendations section right now. So once we're here, we see our products. These are like our all products from our store. And we see the complementary products section and a related products section. So for the complementary products, which are added to the purse wall with section, we choose the product and we click on it. So here we see our product to which we'd like to add these complementary products and we see the added complementary products section. So here you can either enter the names of the products that you want to add or click on browse and look through all of your products. So for example, let's say uh, this is the hat and we want to have like coats, uh, maybe scarves, maybe jackets to go along with the hat. So here in the search, I'm typing code and I can add this code. I can also type in jacket and add any jackets that I find here that I think will suit this product. Um, let's also add maybe a scarf. So for example, let's add these scarves to save our changes. Okay, so we have six products in the complementary products section. I think this will be enough for our example, but of course you can add more and more products if you want to. So now let's save our changes. So as you can see, now our product has the complementary products here. Let's here just go and refresh the page. So here is our product and he here we have the purse well with section so now let's click on view and let's view our product here is our product in here and here we have the purse well with so as you can see we can look through all the products that we've added as complementary products here all of them are so these are um, the instructions on how to add the complementary products to your main product and also we'll look through product recommendations. So once we're back in the customizer, we see this section here, product recommendation. Click on it. As you can see, we can change the, the heading so you can change it to whatever you prefer. We can also add the subheading. And now let's go to the products that are added to the recommendations here. So as you can see, uh, we can either use the uh, Shopify recommendations or select our own uh, resource collection. So if we go back to our um, product in, um, if we go to our product in uh, the search and discovery app, as you can see, we have these related products here. These are the same products that we have in here. So by clicking on this product, you can scroll down to the related products and as you can see these were auto generated so these are the automatically generated products that uh, shopify uses as recommendations but if you have like your specific products that you'd like to showcase you can hide the shopify recommendations and then in the resource collection you can select any collection here. So as you can see, I have a recommendations collection because I have pre-prepared it for this video. However, you can choose uh, one of your existing collections or you can also create a new collection and call it recommendations um, just for easy navigation. So for example, we are adding this recommendations collection. And as you can see here, we have uh, these products. 
So now let's save our changes and go back to the customizing of the section. So what's next? We have uh, the ability to choose the products to show. So for example, your collection consists of 15, 20 or even more products, but you don't want to show all of them. You only want to show the part of the products. So here you can choose how many products you actually want to show. So you can show from three products to 10 products within one collection or within the Shopify recommendations. So for example, let's leave it as eight products here. You can also add the recently viewed section. So if you want to show it, you can click here. And besides the recommendation, we'll have the recently viewed section. So these are the products that your client has recently viewed in your store. So next we have uh, the uh, tab label, so you can rename it from recently viewed. And we can also choose the products to show in the recently viewed products. So let's also make it to eight products overall. So next for the layout, in the layout section, right now we have three products per row. So this is each, each of the rows and we have three products here. If you want to, we can change it to four products Per row so these are our four products you can change it back to three uh, we can also enable a product card indents these are these borders between the products so as you can see right now we have this border section or you can disable them and then the, the products are kind of stacked next to one another you can also um, make full width so as we can see if unchecked container width will be set based on the group layout settings in the theme settings we can also of course change the offset so from the top from the bottom for the desktop uh, and for mobile you can change uh, the offset between these sections here so for example uh, as you can see we don't have at the bottom any off tops so let's just add it in here and now we have some space between our sections. Uh, so these are uh, the instructions on how to add uh, the product recommendations as well as pair as well with section. So let's save all our changes and take a look at how uh, this section looks in our store. So here is the product. I have the personal with section as you can see here and I also have recommendations so we have three products per row and uh, as you can see if we scroll we have all of our other products sorry that are added to our recommendations collection and also we have the tab recently viewed so these are the products we've recently viewed in the store we can also just swipe, swipe uh, to take a look at all of these different products. Uh, so that's it. These are all the instructions. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact our support team. We are always here to help. And don't forget about our theme manual where you can um, check all the instructions on this topic. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day. Goodbye.